Welcome everybody, uh, my name is Stuart Carter-Smith and welcome to the channel. Hopefully um, you've been here before, if you haven't, welcome. Um, we're on the Roman Road at Celtic Manor and uh, this is going to be a kind of a, a full course vlog, every shot. Uh, with some fancy tracers and all that good stuff. Um, so up the first day, pretty good, pretty good shot up the first. Um, not the longest of drive, 255, but it's left me 178 off of a really hanging lie. So um, generally, in this instance, I like to take uh, a slightly smoother swing, so I take a bit more club, and just we're just trying to get a nice forward going shot there towards the flag. I've hit it okay there, uh, but 178, I could have hit uh, 5 on, but dec decided to go back to a 3 just so I can keep it nice and smooth and keep it going straight. It's, it's kind of a, a nice policy, I think, uh, Either that or take uh, your, your kind of most favourite club. Here we are with 31 yards of the pin, 60. I'm just trying to throw it up there, I'm trying to keep it online once again because I'm not, not only pretty good with the weight with these, just missed it. It was kind of going in, so it's just run past here. And I've got this kind of little cheeky left to righter for par. So it's a par on the first. Pretty happy with that. It's a really tough hole, that first hole. Um, so here we go to the second par five, and now I'm trying to think uh, birdie really because um, obviously it's a par five up here. I'm hoping to get up into a good spot there. There's our position that we're going to go for. Hit that one pretty well. There's a bunker just there on the right that I can just about reach, but um, it's kind of worth chancing it for me because I can get past it, um, and it leaves me a nice easy shot into the green. Uh, considering it's a par five, well, when I say easy, uh, it's a easier shot to get down there between the two. Um, 270 got my three wood here. Usually pretty confident. Wind off the left. I'm just trying to nudge it up there. I can reach the green but there's some bunkers guarding it. I feel fairly confident from the bunkers um, but I've carried them on this instance. It's pretty windy as you can tell and um, I'm kind of nearly pin eye there. So you can see me chatting about there's a big slope going down and a slope going up and I don't really want to throw it onto the top with like a lofted club so I'm just going to kind of just pump a little eight iron, get it running as soon as I can, run it up the slope and that's run out pretty good there. It's nice to just get the ball running as opposed to worry about the strike with a 60 degree. That was a good birdie on the second to take me to one under, which is good. It's a nice strong par for this third. I'm trying to get it down there. There's bunkers down the left again. I don't really mind what? if I <laughs> lose it a bit to the right, as long as I can carry that bunker on the right, which is uh, really for the other hole. And uh, unfortunately, I'm in here. There's nothing much I can do. Uh, 170 yards to the green, and straight into the wind just kind of taking a three iron and just trying to push it up there somewhere handy and take my punishment hopefully get a chip and a putt out of it and here we are again so I'm going to take the 60 from here we got 30 yards this is not a kind of nice base because um, the lies really tight so you've got to strike this one nice and pure I just keep turning my shoulders through the chip shot keeping it moving forward and that wasn't too bad actually so up to guess this is about 12 foot something like that I know the putt pretty well so if I can just put a half decent stroke on this one and sure enough there we go that's uh, that's great that's a good par a good save for me there kind of expecting almost to drop a shot there because uh, it was a tricky hole 224 four ran kind of back down the wind just a little bit again so I just want a nice smooth strike totally fatted that but got it going forward enough to get down near the green and what I'm just about to say is um, I'm using the Ping i500s and they're such a forgiving club it's ridiculous you can almost miss the ball and they still go down somewhere handy 19 yards little 60 degree just jumped left on me there I should have thrown it a little bit further but I didn't want it to run out and lose control of it uh, but it kind of just jumped to the left and has left me with this awkward putt this is going to be 
kind of two of these 12 footers in a row. I pulled the last one. So I'm feeling fairly confident about it, but uh, there's a little bit more break on this one. And I missed that one. So drop shot back to level par. Unfortunately, it's never nice going back, but uh, I'm sure everybody knows what it's like. You just kind of got to hold on. Keep working forward. But this is a par five. Good chance to kind of get one back up here for me. It is a tricky tee shot because there's a bunker down the left and there's trouble down the, uh, uh, sorry, bunker down the right, trouble on the left. I've hit that one really nicely. It's up the middle, which uh, I know is going to leave me a nice shot in. Now, the thing with this shot is because there's a huge drop in it, we've got this tree on the left. That's a kind of line with a just a touch of draw would be nice. And I'm just trying to hold it down, keep it as low as possible so I can get a bit of run out the bottom there. And <laughs> it came out. That is pretty much a top. But it's not so bad. But I wanted it to run through this rough because I'm always here now. I've got no shot really. 143 yards dropping down. There's a there's a big kind of tear in the green. So I'm hitting a six iron. I've just has to I just have to keep it under this tree. I've played it pretty well to be honest with you. But um, it's a pretty warm day and it's jumped back through the back of the green unfortunately, which has left me with a horrible chip shot here. Um, this kind of doesn't show, but I can't see the flag at all from where I am, so I've got to try some sort of floaty Mickelson type shot here. Par five though, so this one is uh, got to get up and down for a par. <laughs> That's just one of those bonuses that, uh, you, you know, because that was downwind as well, so it was a, such a tricky yeah, shot, but really, yeah. managed to go in and got me back to one under. Okay, so um, this is a nice short par four. I've got to keep it at that arrow or to the left of it if possible. And that one is a little bit tight because there's two trees up the right there, but I think I'm just left of those trees. So which, yeah, it's okay, because off to the right there. So 88 yards up the slope, and probably playing about 100 yards, as you might have heard me say there. So I'm hitting a 54, that's my 100-yard club. Really good to have a, 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 an exact 100-yard club if you can. I've hit that one pretty good. Um, the hard part about that one was it's such a big upslope that um, you kind of really have to drive into those to keep them going forward. Otherwise, it's a good chance of fat in it or just spooning it up in the air got this left to right birdie putt another one of those 12 or so footers and just yeah, over borrowed that one like i thought that was really going to swing right. across there but uh, yeah. didn't right. quite i think i probably right. hit it you through the break to be honest by the distance has gone by but made the three which is quite good still at uh, minus one um i like this hole little drop hole seventh little eight on uh, 153 is playing, but I think it's 165, but that drop makes up for it. So I'm just aiming for the middle of the green. And we were just talking about uh, Tommy Fleetwood. Nearly always aiming for just the middle of the green on, on every hole and taking his chance of some of these putts. And uh, so I kind of, kind of did that, had that in my mind and played a good shot. Felt pretty happy about that shot. Could have been a bit closer with Nathan, but rolled this putt down. Oh, that is so close. Because that was a tricky putt as well. It had about three foot of break on it. And it so nearly went in. But, you know, that's not too bad. Nice par. On to the next. Uh, now, this is a tricky hole. It's a long hole, 478. And that, and that bunker on the right has just got a habit. It's sort of just around my pitching distance. Hit that one. Flush that one well there. And just completely yeah, covered the trace of you. Sorry about that. Uh, but it just went over the edge of that bunker and rolled out to this position. Um, now this is kind of, I'm thinking about drawing it into the back of this, uh, to the, into the heart of the green, it rolling back. So 181 yards, seven iron. It's a little bit downwind, slightly fatted that again, but managed to get a bit of right to left on it. And was hoping that was just going to run out nice and close to the flag but it was never going to be any trouble there but it's a little bit short so um, but it's okay not too bad this is a tricky hole and so I'm thinking if I can just cozy it down next to the flag 
no damage done on this tricky hole. Ooh, and I'd like to have been a little bit closer than that. Because now I've got a bat. Sort of sub six footer. But luckily it was straight up the hole. It was straight up the uh, green in, on that instance, which is good. On to the ninth. Par five. Now I'm thinking birdie once again. Try and pick one up. Maybe get a two under. But I've got to get this tee shot straight. I can just get it down the right edge of the fairway. And it kicks left into the middle of the fairway. That's pretty much on line. Hitting the ball well today. Uh, which leaves me here. This is just on the right side of the fairway. 197 to the pin. So more than anything with this one, it's a hybrid because um, this tends to go very high. And um, off this slope, I just want to get it airborne to get over the first couple of bunkers. Came out a little bit low and just pulled off that slope a little bit. But I think it's enough to get over the bunker. If I'm over the bunker, which I am, which is good news. 13 yards. Instead of hitting my 60, I'm just going to hit a 54, which is generally just gets a little bit less spin and comes out a little bit lower. I can control it a bit more up the green. Played it pretty well. And I've got this for my birdie. That was such an easy putt. <laughs> such an easy putt. Well, no putt's that easy, but uh, I guess it was just straight up the slope. Um, so, so far, so we've got here um, greens and regulations, six out of nine. That's a really important stat for you guys to look at. Now, you can change this. If you're kind of an 18 handicapper, you can um, actually think about hitting them in one over. Um, so, if it's a par four, you want to hit it in three. If it's a par three, you want to hit it in two. Uh, but obviously, for myself, I'm trying to do it on, on par regs. Um, so, six out of nine is uh, not bad as long as you can chip and putt those other three. And so um, I like this fairways hit stat. That's always good, especially in the summer because the ball rolls a bit further. If you can hit the fairway, you're doing pretty good. So six out of seven, I'm really chuffed with that. And the up and downs, there we go. That's kind of a, a bit of a strong point of my game. And really, it should be a strong point of every kind of low elite amateur type player. Um, five out of five, I'm really happy with that because some of them were 30 yards. So that's not exactly little chips from the side of the green. But out in two under, we've got the back nine to come. Now, I would say I'm always kind of wittering on about the fact that when we watch the TV, uh, we only see the tour players playing at their very, very best. And it gives a kind of a, a non-realistic idea of what they go out and play like all the time. Uh, now, this is uh, a classic example of that. I've had three rounds, two of them I didn't vlog. Uh, one of them, it rained pretty badly. And I think both of those were kind of three, four, five over par. Now, the last round that I actually did a uh, video, I shot 62, so that's eight under. You can go back and look at that if you like. Uh, it's the same course, so it's quite a nice, uh, interesting kind of comparison between the two. Um, this one, it looks like I'm going pretty low on this one as well, but I've got to say that, you know, uh, this is not, this is a good round for me. I'm playing well, swinging well, putting well. Um, it can so easily be not quite that. I'm hoping uh, in the next couple of weeks I'm going to get a couple of vlogs where I'm not playing quite so well. In some cases, that'll be even more interesting to see uh, where I go, how I play, how I possibly get out of trouble, etc. So um, so hopefully one of those is going to be coming up in the future. But next week we're going to have the back nine of this round, see how I finish off, and we'll continue with those stats and see what the stats are looking like at the end of the next round to see how I'm playing. And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this. Uh, please consider subscribing. There's lots of this content. If you look back at my catalogue, um, I've been now on YouTube for over two years. So um, it's nice and consistent. I try and make it as shiny as possible, like we're watching some kind of tour, PGA tour experience with the shot tracers and uh, all the graphics. It does take a while, but um, hopefully you appreciate that and you enjoy it. So looking forward to um, getting this one together for next week. And I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for dropping by. Thank you.